What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, today you're going to need your magnifiers. And when I show you just the raw parts of this GigaPan that we're going to have a look at, I think it's going to blow your mind. It's another smoking gun that there was in fact an intelligent civilization living on Mars. And I don't think you're going to have any doubt once I show you what's going on. And the obfuscation and the manipulation, the centering is insane in this GigaPan. Let's just jump right into it. Folks, here's the page, and you can see it is from Neville Thompson. Thank you, Neville Thompson, for your work. Always appreciated. And you can see it is MSL 3716 ML, okay? And this was added on January 22nd, so basically seven days ago. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. Now, the areas we're interested in, and I'm just going to show you this, folks. Again, get out the magnifier right now and have a look at this. I'm going to show you that I believe, and I've been saying this all along, that these are not mountains. Some of them look like buttes. They're not that at all. They're being made to look like this. Or this civilization lived in these mountains and made like different story houses, meaning like what we do. In Europe, they call them flats, but different apartments in different floors, right? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look right here, first of all. Two things that give this away immediately. Okay. Have a look right here. I'm going to go around with my cursor. This one here, this one right here, okay? Notice what this object is sitting on. It looks like a little platform, and then it has another step-down platform, okay? This one here appears to be coming out of these brick or these separate blocks, but you're going to see this bottom block seems to have almost like this, almost like a space in it, like a cutout, and you're going to see that as well here. This right here, you can see like uh, areas where the manipulation or the obfuscation or censoring did not go over. This part right here, and I'll put it right in the middle. This, once you burn off this fake wannabe sand, these items pop right out. Although there is still an obfuscation and a layering over them, you'll see what I mean in a moment. Check this thing out. This looks like some kind of weird gear in the middle of the screen, okay? Here's another kind of funky mess up they've done. Look at this right here in the middle of the screen. They got like this obfuscation. You can see this almost blank, no information whatsoever. And you can see this piece right here, almost squared out. And yet there's like two pieces, almost like a framework of something right here. See that? I'm going to go around it with the cursor. Okay. Notice right here, we get this nice sharp edge, but just below that sharp edge and just below there, you can see what looks like a blur. That's right, folks. It's a manipulation. And you can see in between, it looks like there's blocks, almost like walls, and there's white pieces sticking out of it. Folks, when I show you this, you're going to say, oh my God, this is another collapsed structure. There's no two ways about it. The more you look into this thing, the crazier it gets, right? We're also going to have a look over here. This area alone, check these shapes out right here. Inside, you can see what looks like a long piece right here, right in the middle of the screen. Right here, and goes back up into this... I'm going to say hillside, although I don't believe it's a hillside at all. You're going to see these other little pieces. What happens is this may be a very large structure and they're doctoring it to make it look like a mountain, but the little pieces still get left behind. And you're going to see that this is really, really interesting. Look at this like weird framework coming down. See this right here going up over and then it comes up like the second pot. It's almost like a giant wishbone piece of steel. looks like a wishbone. It's like you can see it going up, coming around and then back up even higher. See that right there? Put it right smack dab in the middle of the screen, okay? You can also see what it looks like it kind of goes around, loops around, and goes back the other way. Just notice that just now. And you can see there is a shadow under that showing or echoing the shape of this item right here, right there underneath it, okay? All right, let's just jump right into Photoshop, and I'm going to show you the steps I've taken to start to bring this out, okay? Jump into Photoshop. Now, folks, this is cool. This is absolutely neat. I'm going to zoom right in, look at these blocks. Folks, check this stuff out. Take your magnifiers, pause it right here. Take a look at this right here, this part. Leave a timestamp at the bottom and tell me what you think these two pieces are. Just those alone. 
is going to prove at least like an industrialization on Mars. No doubt in my mind, okay? Now when we go back to the original, you can see this piece right here looks like it's sticking out of a block. Again, here, okay, separated here. It almost looks like it's doing this. And you will see what looks like this weird kind of space inside this. All right, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm just going to back up just a hair like this. All right, let's get rid of this pukey color. Okay, now have a look at the areas I showed you right here. 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 Let's keep going. The more we dig into this photo, now you can see when you start to try to burn around these items, all of this changes color. You know why? There's a manipulation. And depending on the depth of the manipulation, you'll have a different color. I've seen purples, oranges, uh, yellows. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy how much different colors come out of this, right? All right, so let's have a closer look at these pieces here. Like I said earlier, right from the word go, this one here, and have a look at what it's sitting on. Again, we have what looks like a smaller platform right here. We have what looks like a step down. It's a little bit bigger right here and you can see it going down. Then we can see another step down, and this item alone, to me, tells me that looks like a pipe. One, two pipes. This one coming straight out from the wall, and this one here appears to have a 90 degree bend in it. You can see it coming up and going outward, okay? Let's keep going. We want to bring anything that's white and bring it out even brighter, okay? This is interesting. All these other little gold pieces you see sitting here. Check this piece out. This, to me, screams machine. Look at the end of this thing right here. That, to me, is incredible. Let's see what it looks like in the original. Again, all of this is fill. That should just get rid of anything that has any individuality and a separate color. Now, let's keep going. I'm going to bring more and more of this out. Let's just back up here a little bit. Keep going. Tone down some of the color. Keep digging in here. Folks, check this out. This is cool. Now, I'm going to keep going until we get out of these other pieces here. All right, so let's back up to step six. Now, let's go up to the top here, folks. This is where it gets really cool. Not that the bottom's not, but here's the part I was telling you about right here. You can see that this is being hidden, but they forgot to take out this piece. You can see the fill that they put in here to try to block. Check out the top of it right here. You can see this right here doing this, going straight across. But You can see it going up like this, just above this blur line, going across and then back down. You can see this one here also almost doing the same thing, right? Notice the separation. You can see what looks like separate blocks or something along them lines, right? You can see the bottom, whatever this thing is, peeking out. All this white pieces you see sticking out is part of the anomaly. It is part of something that is not natural, okay? Check this out. Look at some of the stuff that's inside here. Right in there, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. And we're looking at pieces like this. Okay, looks like some kind of rectangular item sitting right there. And all of this other white, like I said, in this blur. Now, if I was to go to the original right here, go to black plate, you can see this with ease now. Look at this. Look at the, what they're doing. And this, again, this is the actual raw plating. This is where you can see the most censoring. See that? Right there, folks. And you can see it, but you can see the white pieces in between. That's what we're looking for, okay? Down here. This is all garbage. This is not even sand down here in the bottom. And you can see a lot of this. This Again, this is the raw photo, folks. I don't have to do anything to this. Check this out. The two most objects that really stand out for me are these right here. One and two. Folks, in my opinion... Absolutely, 
industrialization on this planet. It's as simple as that. I'm going to go back to CMYK, and then we're going to do a full enhancement right here. Again, we'll go over to the top here. Notice the other pieces here. Again, folks, even just the stuff here, check this out. The smaller pieces down in the bottom. And again, you can just see the blurring going all over everything. Look at this, all of this area right here. Just, you got this piece right here sticking out. Looks like it goes like this, comes up, it goes over, it goes back down. And you can see what it looks like. It's another rectangular item. And then it gets into this blur right here and you don't see the rest of it, okay? So, now let's back out to this other side. This is what I was telling you about in this area alone. Let's see what we can bring out of this mess, okay? And if there's anything of any interest. Folks, here, I already said, right in this area alone, that to me is not natural. Small pots right here. Again, it's almost like it's run by AI. It's not perfected AI, so it's not bringing, or taking out rather, anything that's intelligently made. And thank God for that. Or it's the people there letting this happen and let it slip out, only for the people to say, hey, I really want to know what's in here. Now let's go back to the original, keep an eye on these items right here in the middle of this circle. Notice how they do this. Nice curvature, comes back out, same thing right here, okay? Seems to go back up. Another small piece right here, looks like it goes in, comes back up. This item right here, with a small circle inside, Right there. Let's go back to the original. Keep your eye on it. It's still there. I can still see it fine. However, it's grungy. It's literally censored and it just looks like trash. You're not bringing out the lines. Bring out the lines and bam, it just comes right out. I'm going to go back and forth, folks. You can see that. We're just making it stand out a lot more than it was. That's all. Look at that. Small bits and pieces we can bring out. Why? It's not hiding it, or they're not hiding it. And thank you for that, if they are, in fact, people doing this, and they're allowing the people that really want to see what's going on, and they're allowing this to happen. This again, that does not look natural at all. Definitely some kind of intelligently made item. And I don't believe for a moment, folks, that this, I want to show you this, this is pretty cool. We're going to bounce over to the much larger mountain. Check this out. This is awesome. I don't believe this for a moment right here that this is solid sand. Let's go back to the original. Doesn't it look like that? No, okay, you got your shadows right here coming off the, the edge of this. However, if you look closely, there is an actual blur right here, okay? When you enhance this, this is a space. I believe this, what we're seeing here, is a ceiling, and this on the bottom was actually inside the structure. I believe this is a floor, this is a floor right here, okay? And they're filling this in, all this area right here, to make it look like it's nothing more than a straight hill coming straight down with no crevices or any of that sort. I don't believe that's the case. Check this out right here. Just little pieces, folks, just littlest things. Here, I'm looking at this item or items right here. Check this out. Looks like it's squared off, nice 90 degree angle right here. And what looks like two or three little white pieces, like this one looks like it's doing this, black detail in it. Not sure what to make of that. Maybe something else here. I'm not even quite sure about that right there, but something's there up here. Just the smallest little pieces. Folks, it looks like literally something exploded here. Mechanical slash industrial. Could be nothing more than a structure, but there's so much going on here, folks. So much going on. Look at this. I mean, what could do this? These small parts laying on the ground. Not even sure what this is. On the bottom here in the middle. Right there. Let me get that right in the middle here. See that right there? What are we looking at there? Bottom. Look at this right here, right in this area. We're gonna go ahead and circle this bunch of stuff right there. Just this piece right here alone, folks, this rectangular piece. What is that? Is it all natural? Mm, I tend to believe that it's not. 
If you look at all of these sections here, look at these objects or blocks or whatever they may be, they're again being covered because you can see it's the same kind of non-information going on in these areas. So they're clearly being censored, whatever they may be. Something right here. And you can see right there, this little piece very bottom. Let's put it in the middle here. Right there. We have uh, other smaller pieces in here. Just look at the top here, folks. Let's just go just above that little circle piece. Junk, folks. Shattered, scattered. Stuff that's been obliterated. Stuff like this here. Like I said, all of a sudden, you can see this in or behind this centering. Folks, that to me looks like machinery. And again, we can see these other pieces here that are inside this manipulation. You can see this one right here. It clearly looks like it's got some kind of it's got some kind of rounded shape here at the top. Right there. And then you can see inside the blur, if we come down, it's doing this. Almost looks like it has a V, uh, like a Docker V area. See that? Right there. You can see the manipulation literally goes like this, like they've been trying to cut this out. So you can see maybe part of that a little bit. But let's see what happens when we go to the original. It's pretty much gone, folks. This alone, this area right here alone, tells me that this is industrialization, that this is not natural whatsoever. Now, folks, if we were just to go black and white on this, so we don't, so we don't get fooled with these colors and everything else, check this out. Again, this right here, this right here, okay? And the blocks, everything about this thing is crazy. Let's go up here a little bit and see what we get up here. Again, these items are being blocked out, being taken out by the centering, manipulation, nice straight edge, just under the edge of these anomalies, whatever's behind this actual blurring, okay? Other side, same thing here, like I showed you. This to me, folks, is a smoking gun. There's no doubt in my mind. This proves without a doubt that planet Mars had an intelligent civilization and they're there for a recon mission. They're finding stuff all over this area. In my opinion, this is absolute proof of a civilization that was once on Mars. I want to just go ahead and make this color again. Folks, there you go. In fact, I'm going to do this. Have a look at these objects all along this bottom edge, just this alone. Pause it right here, have a good look. Fully enhance it. That's it, folks, there you go. Folks, to me, this is absolutely proof of a civilization that had industrialization and was just as advanced as we are today. Who knows how far this stuff goes back, but regardless of the fact, the way they make it sound, they're up there just to look at mm, some rocks, maybe some building blocks of life or something to that effect. Please, we all know better, right? Folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Anyway, folks, we may have a second part to this because more interesting things in this GigaPan. So stay tuned. Plus, much, much more coming up. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.